Hey, I'm Fred. And I'm Ed. And this is Create a Generation. Create a Generation of Hype. All right, Frederico, it's back. What's happening this week? This week we are doing Q&A Roulette once again, where we answer some of the top questions that we get. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, one turn. Uh, you go first or I go first? You go first because I'm not very good at technology. Okay, so the I'm spinning gonna... wheel is high tech, All too right, high tech. I'm going to pick the first number for you. Are you ready to go? And All the right. first number is... 37. All right, let's see what 37 is. All right. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Do viewers <laughs> get annoyed by ads? Yes and no. <laughs> I'll, I'll answer it better than that. Um, generally, no. Everyone's conditioned to advertising, no matter what platform, but on YouTube. Um, i like pretty happy to see an ad if it means that you don't have to pay for your content. And also, you know, people know it supports their uh, favorite cr- creator. When I say yes and no, people aren't pretty happy about stock standard boring ads that don't engage with them and aren't relevant um they are much 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 more interested in ads where a channel and creator puts some effort in to customize it and make it engaging and entertaining and and useful and is the word valuable for their audience um I think Fred, you can probably expand on that. I'll well, let you do I, that one. I think you've answered the question um, like a brand ad, like one that the creator has been asked to create, rather than ads before the video. With I, I think this uh, question may pre roll. Everyone just yeah. is just hovering over the skip button, right? Yeah. That's, um, <laughs> well, look, I, 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 and, <laughs> and it's right. I mean, um, the creators do the ads well, and you know they suit the audience. And they're supportive of the creator. Most people don't mind that, um, but when it comes to pre roll. I think people are very used to how YouTube works in terms of the pre-roll or the way the ads work now. So they're not really that fussed by it. And, you know, some people do hit skip uh, if that's available and some people will just sit through it because that's what they do. So, yeah, generally we've found it doesn't make a big difference. All right. Boom. Done. All right, Anton. Let's, it is, let's no, give it time. a spin. Here All right, I'm one. ready to spin this wheel. Let's spin it. Spin it up. Oh, amazing. It's landed on number 87, my favorite number. How long? Should a YouTube video be? Oh, How long should a YouTube video be? All right. Well, uh, I guess the answer to that is uh, long enough to keep the interest of the audience member. So um, I guess algorithmically there's no real issue um, for the system whether you make your videos shorter or longer. Um, what it looks for is, you know, how engaged the viewer is and if they're viewing. So if you make a two-minute video and they watch all of that, great. If you make a... 30 minute video and they watch a lot of that, that's great too. So it really depends on the audience. Um, we find channels that have, you know, a couple of minute videos, they do fine, and cut channels that have very, very long videos that also do well. But the thing you're trying to do is trying to match the audience um, appetite to what you're doing. Right? So if you're making a 40 minute video and they're watching five minutes, that's, that's not a good idea, right? So I'd always test whether they're probably a, a shorter amount and see how much they're watching and then build it up from there. It's like a really, really wishy-washy answer, but a YouTube video is as long as it needs to be and as long as it is good and engaging. So mm. that could be 30 seconds or it could be... It's a very zen answer. It needs to be but, as long yeah. as it needs to be. Well, <laughs> all right. You ready to spin this bad boy, Ant? Will you spin it up? It's your turn to spin. Go. Let's go. Right. Let's spin her up. 21. Let's see, 21. Ah. Can I reuse my YouTube videos on other social networks? That is the question. Yes, of course. Um, and you should. Probably best not to just repost the exact same video because each platform, the way people like to watch content is different. Uh, the type of content they like is different. So yes, reuse it. Uh, but you're going to have to do a little bit of work in uh reformatting or editing that to fit so people are on tiktok for a different type of video than they are into youtube um where the facebook or linkedin so um definitely use it and it's a really great idea uh, because you've spent a lot of time and effort making this awesome video but just don't just copy paste and upload onto another platform just think about what your audience will like the type of the length of video they want to watch are they, have they got sound on uh, all those things and and sort of rework your content. Mm. What do you reckon, friend? Yeah, Happy? great. And the other thing I'd say to that is um, only use as many social platforms that make sense to you. Like, you know, some people feel they have to use every single one. 
Um, you don't have to, you know, just pick the ones that make the most sense to you and the most sense to your audience. All right, spin her up. Let's right. go. Ready to go, Ant? Bing, big, big dingling swing on this one. Oof. Speaking of ads and brand deals, how much should I charge for brand deals? Well, what was the number? Number 99. 99. <laughs> how, much should number. I, how much should I charge for brand deals? Okay, cool. Mm. All right. Well, once again, like I think every single question that we get asked, it depends. But um, <laughs> it does vary depending, I guess, on the type of creator you are, your channel, um, the type of brands you're attracting, you know, the type of videos, how many views you get. There's a whole bunch of factors that come into that. Um, end of the day, though, there's no real set amount i've seen small creators make incredible amounts of money with brands because they've got extremely engaged audiences and i've seen big creators charge not that much for brand deals because you know um the viewership is while high and view numbers not great in engagement so what it really comes down to is that engagement fact like how engaged is your audience with your content um and if they are super engaged and they tend to follow what you do then a brand is more likely to give you more money for a placement because they know they will basically get a better result from that, right? So it really does come down to engagement more than just like, you know, this is the set number you get per, you know, 500,000 million subs kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it, it, it varies. And, you know, like I said, we've seen small creators do really well with brand deals um, because their audiences are so loyal. Yeah, it's it's tough when people ask this question because everyone just wants a, mm, wants a, a number. Out, yeah. How much? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I guess that's kind of, you got to figure out what your worth is um, a little bit, like, are you doing something unique that and speaking to an audience that no one else is or yeah. Or are they more engaged? Like Fred said, mm. yeah, it's, uh, it's tricky. Yeah. I mean, just if you don't, I mean, as we, we've seen creators with like a million subs charge like five or 10 K for a, a brand deal and another creator with a million subs charge 70 to 80 K for a brand deal. And the brands paid it because they got, the result they wanted because the audience were engaged. So, you know, it, it can work on, on multiple ways. So there, there is quite a lot of variation. But what I would say is basically show the brand how engaged your audience is, how much they love you, um, and you can often get a better price for it. Boom. Frederico, give it a spin for me. I'll give it a spin. Number 44. That's another good number. Oh, just all of the hits. Okay, so does YouTube give preference to monetized videos over non-monetized? Uh, I <laughs> don't. <laughs> that's a tough one. That's we a question that so. asked so much. It gets asked so much. Uh, it gets asked all the time. Like they, YouTube says it doesn't. It's a tricky space because YouTube doesn't exactly tell you everything about everything, but they say they don't. But there's definitely plenty of creators out there who would. Uh, swear otherwise where if a video is not monetized it um, for whatever reason it doesn't get served as far and wide as, as their other content yeah um, the reason I'd say that sometimes it may work out that way and you're looking at the I guess the causality of, of it is um, if a video for example is demonetized for a certain reason right um, and because of that reason, it might not, you know, there might be a community guidelines issue or something is there as it's served in more like adult content, for example. Um, then it may not get served out as much generally. So you might think, oh, look, it didn't get as much viewership as my monetized content. So, yeah, sometimes I guess that can happen. Um, but often, um, you know, it might be for other reasons or it may not be a very good video. You know, for example, you don't monetize your best videos or, and then you notice that, you know, you know, they aren't obviously getting as many views. Um, and then you might, th think there's an issue there but yeah youtube have said that they don't um have a preference over monetized or non-monetized videos beautiful cool. all right let's spin one up spinning it up let's spinning. do it Ooh, it was a big one it went all the way to 207 <laughs> 207 it's a big number we get a lot of questions. People ask us a lot. These are the ones we actually bother to remember and write down. Like they're going to be a hard question to answer, Fred. I'm glad you've got it. Why do my good ideas always end up doing badly? <laughs> Very are you asking me this question? That's like a personal, personal question. Why are my, my ideas? My good ideas always <laughs> go great. Um, well, they're what, better yeah. than good. All right. This is actually another thing we get. I typically, actually get this from some of the big creators that um, – you know, they think they have a great idea for a video and they spend a lot of time and effort on it and it ends up not doing as well as, you know, videos which they put, you know, half as much effort into. Um, 
<laughs> uh, it's an interesting one, I th- and I think there are probably a couple of reasons for it. Um, sometimes, for example, when you uh, think you're making a really great video, you put more effort into it, and it can skew away from what you normally make. Um, and if an audience really likes what you normally make or a particular style, um, then you know it may not hit as well, and it looks like you know it's not going to do as well either. So um, that can happen. Um, also, I guess what you think is a good idea sometimes may not be necessarily a good idea. You might think it's a brilliant idea and maybe that just doesn't align with what your audience wants. Um, Going back to my first point, I mean, we've seen creators, for example, you know, if they get a a great brand deal or they're sponsored by something and they put a lot more production value into their, into their videos, thinking it's going to be a really great one and it just doesn't land and they're upset. It's often because like things like production value don't necessarily translate to um, results. Um, Like I said, people on YouTube watch, it for a uh, connection for the creator for the way the story's told just throwing money at it and making production value better um or making it a bigger better idea doesn't necessarily work and yeah you're right sometimes your good ideas just aren't that good <laughs> no, ah, not. yeah all right putting it up 86 all right <laughs> how long does it take to make a video this is a pretty interesting one <laughs> well, this is we'll have to title this like the ambiguous answer yeah. session <laughs> <laughs> it's like how long should a video be how long does it take to make it um i don't want to say this but it depends <laughs> it's such a cop out it is um, i'm sure everyone's it, watching everyone's listening and they're like every single answer has uh, been mm, maybe or mm, it depends or oh, it could be this or that I'll, I'll i'll try and give more of a it depends um it depends on the type of content you make no, um, which it does, but like there are people who are very, very good at just making a video where they press record on their phone, they don't edit it, they just stand there and they talk for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, even an hour. They don't edit it and they upload it, and that's how long it takes them to make it. <laughs> good on them. There's others, uh, and it just really depends on what goes into the video. Like sometimes people need to do a lot of research and script writing. And if you, you know, listen into, say, any of the animation podcasts we've done, you'll hear, like, uh, Rush, Light and Vader talk about, like, the process of scripting and animating and illustrating and storyboarding and sound and voiceovers. And it's like, well, that takes them anywhere between four to six weeks or eight weeks or or months. Um I, I kind of, yeah, so <laughs> it, it kind of depends and it depends on your skill set and, and the type of content you want to make and, mm. and things like that. So uh, uh, yeah. I, hope I, have, I hope I've answered it. Yeah, and, and it depends on what just, stage of your development you are as a creator. You know, obviously as you're starting out, you, you, know, you don't know what you don't know and you're developing your workflow and as you get better and faster at that, the videos flow faster and you're able, your output is much better um but like Anne said you know you've got some animators no matter what you do um unless you have you know hundreds of animators working together it will take a while to create animation um you know and i love there's a bunch of like you know flight simulator videos that i like watching and you know the creators sort of plan out basically what they want to say and then they'll just hit record and they'll pretty much in one sitting record the whole thing um but they took a while to get that point and get their flow right and good on them for doing that but yeah everyone is a little bit different but it ends up being faster obviously the more you practice and the better you get like we say in, at these events that we do um intuitively i think everyone knows how to make a good video you just don't what you're missing is the skill to do it and the skill comes with practice so the more you practice the faster the videos are going to be good let's i'll spin it up all right let's give it a, give it a spin all right one seven seven just big spins going up high. Okay. What is view velocity and how important is it? Okay, cool. So uh, when your videos are launched, um, basically the speed of viewership as they are launched is effectively the view velocity. Um, and what you want it to be is high, right? So I guess the more people who watch it as it's launched, the better it's going to be because the system has more data to understand who's watching it, are they enjoying it, um, and it can start serving out to more and more people faster. Also, if you're getting the right kind of people to watch it to start with, like you're not just getting random people to watch it, but you know that right audience who are going to love your content, are going to watch it. Typically, they're going to watch more of it, um, going to send the system better signals, so it can serve it out to more of those people who are more likely to watch again more of your video. So, yes, it's very important. I 
always have always tell to people about having a view velocity plan when they launch videos especially if you're launching a new channel um, or a new series of view velocity plans are very important so definitely uh, do some research into view velocity and check that out I reckon follow-up question I'm going to break the rules on this have a good view velocity like how do you make that happen I guess there are couple of things you'd want to do one is before you launch like you want to have a view velocity plan right so um you say i'm going to launch a video and i'm going to get as many people or as many of the right people to watch it so that's your goal I'm trying to get as many of the right people to watch it and watch as much of it as possible um and based on that you then ask you know are there common audiences do i already have an audience can i ask them can i tell them in advance that this is about to drop and therefore when they you know uh, when it does they got a whole bunch of people watching it so for example you might do a live stream before your video drops and tell everyone, hey, you know, this video is about to drop, you know, 10 seconds, let everyone go and watch it. And then you get a whole bunch of people go watch it. That'll increase your view velocity, for example. Um, or you might, you know, send it out to your database, do an EDM, um, get a collaborator to do a shout out for you who has a similar audience. Those are just ways you can improve your view velocity. Some view, some ways. There are lots of ways to do it. Nice. Mm. All right, Frederica, give it a, give it a spin. Yeah, ready, ready, here it goes. It is number 112. If I'm based in one country, do my videos go out to the world or just my country? Well, and Fred's going to have the answer way better than me. Yes. Um, can I say it depends? <laughs> if you do, I think the audience is going to murder you. So, I know. It depends. Well, I, did, I, I did say it. it depends. Well, yes and no. Can I do that one? <laughs> that is That is. <laughs> that is a depend. That's basically uh, yeah, an expansion of the of I, depends. I yeah, yeah. Well, it really is effectively it, it's about you know um, there's a language based element too, right? So one is got to understand like what language you and that's why you, you know you, when you set up a channel you tell YouTube sort of where in the world you are and the language of your channel and the more information you give it on it the better it knows who your audience is and then it's going to try and serve that out. Um, and then if it knows it's got obviously an English speaking language and English speaking audience, it's going to serve it out too and English speaking audience. So it's not necessarily limited to your country so much as it might be limited to your audience. But then, for example, if some if people within your country tend to watch it a lot, it's probably going to start serving it out more back to the country itself, right? So we have creators who have tremendous audiences all over the world, but typically they may only speak English, so it goes out to those audiences. So you typically see, you know, US, UK, Australia, New Zealand, um, you know, some... Well, good parts of Europe as well. Um, and then there are some, for example, creators who like do English language skills and then you see them go out to, you know, all over the world because people all over the world want to learn that. So, yeah, it really depends on the language you're speaking, which audience would actually want to watch it. The system sees that and when it figures out who's watching the video, it serves out to more of them. But it's not geo-locked. So if you're in New Zealand, for example, it's not like it's only going to serve it out to New Zealand. There you go. That's, that's a better answer than I could have come up with. Mm. Do I have to go again? Uh, well, we one last spin. I think we have time we, for one more spin. So I think, yes, you sh should go again. <laughs> and the number is 130. Should I always make trending content hmm. or content based on trending uh, topics? Short answer, no. Look, long answer, yes. Content, that's it. Yeah, long answer, yes. No, uh, it depends. <laughs> depends. Uh, <laughs> It depends on the format and, and your channel, but typically, like, I, it's not you cannot great say the word depends. No, yeah, no, you can't oh, say the word look, depends any, anymore. Just, okay, no <laughs> depends. Look, it's typically not a great strategy to just be going after trends and trending topics. Uh, you'll be you essentially end up chasing your tail and chasing trends, um, which becomes tricky and hard to keep long term. Plus, that trend will only be a trend for a a, a short period of time it might be for for a while but uh typically it doesn't stick around forever that's why it's called a trend uh so that's where having having more of a strategy around you know jumping up like finding things that trend is, is a great idea you can um people are searching and watching that type of content so it's it's not bad to have content that is trending but if it is all about trending your back catalog typically won't have much longevity plus as a a creator, it becomes quite challenging to always be hunting the trends and keeping up with these trends um, and keeping your channel in a constant uh, direction and, and creating something that is consistent that people will connect to rather than bouncing around all over the place. 
Good, there you good, go. Good answer, Ant. That's and you, mine. And you Depends. Didn't use great. And, and on that <laughs> note, we have reached time for this episode of Q&A Roulette. Everybody but as people can tell, for our regular, lovely Creator Generation listeners, we're going to keep mm. doing this regularly because we like it. It's yeah. fun. And we answer your questions. So, And it was one of the most questions. popular episodes we released in the last six months too. So the last one. So hopefully uh, you enjoy this and let us know if you uh, want more because, well, we're probably going to keep doing them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep doing them anyway, but we'd like to answer more of your questions. So, yes. like, send them in to us um, through the socials. The at what? Well, what is it? At the Creator Generation. We're on Twitter of something. Uh, it's too long to be on Twitter, but we'll put that on the show notes. And you can tweet us, you can Instagram us, or we'll uh, you can let us know if you, you've got a question, and we'll we'll hopefully get to it in the next roulette. Till next time. Bye. See ya. Creator Generation. Look on the mic.